Okay, so you want to make something like this. And I gave a tutorial on how to make realistic terrains using Quixel Mega Scans. But apparently some people were um, having problems with it. You know, they're saying, oh, I still need to pay. How do we get points? And, you know, apparently you could only use Quixel Mega Scans with like Unreal Engine 4 or Blender. But you can't use them in um, Roblox. So I'm going to be teaching you how to basically still make realistic terrain. And I've made multiple of these. You know, this is a desert, like a desert-like landscape. Yeah, we are in a forest now. And then lastly, a snowy, um, like, biome or like snowy mountains with this like road where you could walk up so I'm going to show you how to get the exact same results and you know this may look very hard but trust me it's actually quite easy so here's basically kind of what you need this forest pack all of these will be in a in my um description so you could all the like pinned comments so you could just click on these links so you'll probably just need this forest pack. You'll you will need these rock brushes. All of these are for free. You can download it. You will have to log on. You, you need your textures. And now my two favorite sites for um your, to get your textures is textures.com or Polyhaven AK Texture Haven. So, you know, we're going to go, you're probably going to go to rock and, you know, I did use some of these as my textures in my Roblox game. And same here. Now, how do you do all of this? How do you, you know, you make the cliffs and that? So, it's really simple. I first like to add my, like, texture first. So, you're going to get out your textures. I've, you know, been building this for quite some time. I'm going to choose probably this. I've already co converted some of these to PNG because Roblox doesn't like to use TIF files. So I'm going to be using this for my rock texture. You could use, um, you know, the like rock texture you have. I'm not gonna need that height because then again Roblox doesn't doesn't really have height maps. So you know you're gonna plug this in and this is all because you know sometimes when you like put the textures after you sculpt, it looks all dodge. So we're gonna start off with our like desert type. I'm not gonna do all the biomes because once you like understand how to do it like make a cliff you could easily just change the texture I just you know like you know I like the like desert one because it's kind of like the canyon that um art blocks made I think it's art blocks hope I didn't get anything wrong but so you know, now you have your like textures applied and this is where you're going to need your brushes here. So once you've downloaded these brushes, you know, they come in a, a like a zip file and you have to unzip them, I think. Probably. Because the most files come in like zip. And once you've unzipped it, you go to file and you go to append. And you basically find where you've, you know, put your brushes. So I've put it here as alpha brushes. And it is this rock brush photo scan. And what you do is you click on the dot blend file. Go to brushes. You press A to select all. And append. And now, what I like to do, I am like to, like, stop modeling, you know, this, like, in a quick way. So like, 
here and we're just gonna make it like a bit wider or, or you could just scale it but I'm gonna make it almost like a bit he bent here because what I'm going to do is when we like start making our rocks um, I'm going to show you how to make you know sculpture rocks and all of that I'm going to add a subdivision and you're going to like increase it now for those who have a like bad computer don't like turn it all the way up because you know like already here it's at 11,000 and with that it's already past like Roblox's um, limit but anyway not wasting more time let's get to sculpting this so once you've uh, you know put all your brushes here you could just click on this and then here are your brushes now I'm going to select any random one and you know you could just already start doing like just like putting all of this in random areas you know I'm already you already seen lag on my side although it shouldn't be my computer isn't too bad and I'm going to shade like shade smooth because you know it looks much better and you know you're going to sculpt this until you have until you like what you you've got now you could sculpt both sides although the light isn't working well so you could just do this and you know, just like this is how you cr like start creating your um environment and so yeah this is what mine looks like this is my you know cliffs uh, like you could obviously use a better texture but this is like my like example and I I like it you know, it does it has that cliff look and I think it still can be used in game it does like maybe if I like just like rescale it like here yeah, like with that you know cube um projection although the problem is now you see all of this like stuff here that's why I don't like to like only put the textures after because usually the it ends up being all weird so what I'm just going to do I'm just going to scale this up and this looks good so once you've done if your model is over 10,000 which is like Roblox's um, limit it's a very l low limit I don't mean to add that but what you add is decimate or remesh remesh kind of takes it to a bit you know sometimes remesh is a bit dodgy sometimes because sometimes there will be more but you can make it much less like triangles so I just stick with decimate and you could like really like get it like quite low with still getting a good result so you know I've pretty much half these even a bit more and it still looks good and you just go and press ctrl a and apply and what you will do is you will export as a fbx you go to your file I'm just going to name this rock cliff 2 and you know you're going to export it and you're going to go onto your roblox and you're going to just you know add your mesh part get out your what you've just made now you and wait for it to import and then you put your textures your you know you upload it onto roblox and you see you know i already have my texture id here but you know obviously uh, the pbr textures aren't on it but here's what we've actually got and you know you could use this in like this type of landscape here so here's with all like the maps applied you know the normal the roughness 
and all of that. Now, I would always recommend getting like a proper rock texture, like this one. Because this is more of a ground type, I even used it like here as my ground. But you know, if you have a proper rock texture, you see I will even copy this rock texture here that I believe I also got from textures.com. And I'm going to just put it here, paste into. And you could see, now this actually looks more like a rock, so, you know, when you obviously looking at which, you know, textures to use, use these, you know, because they specifically are rock textures. Okay, so now how do I make the ground? Because, you know, if you look down here, you know, I've added all these stones on top of it. But if I just get what the ground is, this is what it is without all the stone. And you could see that there's all these bumps. Well, again, this is pretty simple. I'm just going to use, you know, this texture once again. And let's go into Blender and I could show you how to make this. So we are back in Blender with our weird rock we have made. And now with the ground, this is... Again, pretty easy. You're going to add a plane. And I'm just going to scale it. We're going to use the same texture here. So, go into shading. And, you know, get the texture here. But, instead, we will go here to our texture properties. We're going to press new. And we're going to press open. And... We're going to find the textures we have used for this. So, I believe it was this. Yeah, it looks like it. And we're going to put the height map. We're going to double click it so it is now here. And I'm going to, I'm going to just delete this rock. And I'm going to edit this and you could subdivide. Or you could go here and subdivision surface. You could keep that simple. And you could increase it, not too much, where it passes, you know, Roblox's maximum triangle count. And you go to, um, not shading, you go to add modifier and you're going to press display. D displace, not display. And you're going to scroll down until you have found your height, height map. And once you have done that, you could see it's already changed and, and it has added all these bumps. And you could just scale it down a bit. But yeah, this is what we are working with. And, you, and once we've gotten a good result, you're just going to press Control A. And you've... Applied it so when you go into edit, you could see there are the bumps. And I've already imported this, so I'm not gonna f do the um, export as FPX. But since you've like no, since you now know that, you can now do that with all the ground materials you have, because that's what I've done here. Even you could see the bumps. And, you know, even with this ground material. Okay, so the, the um, last thing that we are going to add. So, I just got down the major bits, which is, you know, the, like, cliffs and that and the ground. Now, we're going to add the small decoration, for example, these rocks. These ones I did have in Blender, but I more prefer... The ones that I'm going to show you how to get. So, remember how I said we're going to need this forest pack? Because this forest pack has something like the rest don't have. Because this has, you know, actual PBR to the trees. If you look here, you can see how the light reflects and all of that. And this even has like certain things like the water fire, the smoke, and all of that. So, 
what you want to do is you're going to just take like stones here you see these are the stones I've used you can scale it and like you know just resize so that it fits your whole design and yeah that's basically how you get you know all this realistic terrain you know the forest I've used the same method for the desert where you know displace displacement map here you can see again the the same way how I modeled the um, cliffs, just a bit different. Now, I, instead, I go into Blender, I add my cube, go here, like subdivide a bit, shade smooth, and then I just go into like edit, and then just start like messing around with scales and that, and then like just make something like weird for the like rock, and then you apply and sculpt. That's how you like start making these rocks and then i use the forest pack here to make all these trees and all this decorations and it's the same here with um you know the like snowy hills and all of that this placement on the ground model and add the textures use the stone sculpting and and there you go it's actually pretty simple since you're not having like recreating absolutely everything yourself and it's free you're not paying for any of this so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and see you guys next time bye